Hello, this is John, and in this video I'm going to be talking about a push-button controlled LED array using the M430 G2553 microcontroller from the MSP430 launchpad. Let's go ahead and flip the switch and talk about these four push buttons right here. Each one of these push buttons controls a pattern for the LED array. First pattern. Second pattern. Third pattern. Fourth pattern. This push button sets a baseline pattern, one that we've seen before. Turn it on and turn it off. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And this push button increases the speed of that LED. Every time we push it, it goes faster and faster and faster. And this LED decreases the speed of that flash with every push. And this final LED sets the pattern speed back to baseline. So I'm going to go ahead and slow down the LED a little bit so that we can have a better idea of uh, what happens now. With this baseline pattern going, whenever I push one of these buttons, it's going to interrupt this pattern and do what this push button wants, and then it's going to return control back to the pattern. So let's go ahead and take a look. Interrupt. Return control back to where it left off. Interrupt. Returns right where it left off. And finally, this reset push button, you push it, microcontroller resets back to the beginning. Then you could do the different patterns, whatever you like. So, in bringing the microcontroller from the launch pad to the breadboard, um, I had to add some components, the most important of which being this 47 kilo ohm resistor. This 47 kilo ohm resistor needs to go from the positive voltage to the reset pin of the microcontroller. Um, if, if you don't do that, then the microcontroller does not work at all. On the launch pad, you don't even have to think about it because it's hardwired in. But when you're moving the microcontroller from the launch pad to the breadboard, need to add that uh, 47 kilo ohm resistor. So what I've done to modify that is I've added this push button so that whenever you push it, it just resets. Now, on this side over here, I have voltage regulation. The microcontroller get, is getting this power from a nine volt battery, but it does not take nine volts, it takes 3.3 volts. So use this voltage regulation circuit to regulate the 9 volts down to the 3.3 volts that the microcontroller needs. And I use this fancy little switch just to switch the power on and off because I think it's pretty cool. So once again, this was a push button controlled LED array. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Have a good one.